Hello everyone, my name is uh, Julian, aka uh, Mid Journeyman or MJM. I would like to show you today a cool workflow I made uh, with uh, Brad, aka Superbeats AI uh, in uh, Comfy UI. This workflow will let you basically enhance and upscale any images, uh, and it's pretty cool. You know, it has a lot of uh, cool features, and I would like to show you how to use it, how to, to set it up, and, and what it can do. Uh, the name of the workflow is uh, beautif Beautify. So these four images have been uh, made with that workflow and uh, yeah, let's get going. So once you uh, you have Comfy uh, UI running, you know, you're going to let's say you're going to start with like a, a clear space and and first what we need to do is to to get the, that workflow. So where do you get that workflow? Before we can open it in Comfy, it's on Civitai. So uh, on Civitai.com. The best way to find it is to type in the search beautify and here it is right there. So then I want to click on download right there. It's going to download a zip folder and let's get to that zip folder together. Let's uh, go there. Uh, I believe it's uh, right here and let's ext extract this here. And once you extract it, you will see a PNG. That PNG contains the metadata for that workflow. So how do you open it from here? Again, once Comfy UI is running, you can simply drag and drop that image here in Comfy. If it's your, if it's the very first time you run this workflow, you will probably end up having a lot of red boxes, which just uh, shows you, shows you that something a uh, custom node is missing. To work around that, very simple. What you should do, and I will add the links in the description, is to Download and install, or I shouldn't say download and install, but you should install in Comfy uh, UI the uh, uh, Comfy UI Manager, which uh, is going to be right here after. And the Comfy UI Manager will basically let you find all the missing custom nodes and install them for you. So that makes this very, very simple. So once you are done with this, you should be able to start using the, uh, the uh, workflow here. And before I show you an example, let me kind of like walk you through the, the concept here. So you load an image here and you have various things you can change, of course. You can change little, but you, you can change as much as you want. Uh, you load your image, you can pick, uh, choose your checkpoint here. And you can add your LoRa to add more styling. You can customize the free U2 uh, V2 values if you need to, if you want to. Set up your prompt here. And then the cool thing and the magic happens right here. We have a freedom setting. The freedom setting will basically control how much changes and new details will be added to your image. Uh, a freedom of one will basically act as a simple upscaler. So you, your low res image will basically upscaled, be upscaled by these factors here because we have two passes, pass one and pass two. Pass two is optional and there is a switch to disable it, which I will show you in a second. But if you see right now, two and two, that means that your input image will come as a 4x image. And so, yes, so back to the setting, if you set it to one, it's only gonna simply pretty much going to upscale your image without like enhancing it. Enhancing it. A good default value is five, so right in the middle, and it's going to, to add like enough details. And if you go too high, you can try. If you go too high, it might, it might add like more faces and you know, like the typical things that you can see sometimes in these kind of applications. So you just have to, to try and play. And then moving forward to the right, we have different control nets. It should be pretty self, uh, self uh, sufficient. I mean, it's self, uh, it works on its own. You shouldn't have to change anything here. And, but you are free to play with this and change and add more control nets like open pose. If you're doing like a, like a body or you know, some like a human, you know, and then uh, you can also change the uh, upscale model if you ever need to. And these are, are the uh, filters for your image. You know, you have a color matching. And then there is another cool setting. It's an HDR effect, or it's like trying to act like an HDR effect. And the values suggested, you know, I mean, to take with a grain of salt is from five to six. But again, you can play with this. And whenever you see like the device bypasser, this is just a toggle on and off. So this is a nice way to just skip over this whole section. Then it goes to a sharpening tool. Grain, I had it this here, but uh, frankly, I don't really typically use it, but it just gives a, a little bit of style. And it finally ends with filters. After that, uh, you're gonna go to the pass two. The pass two right there, it's, you can, it's either enabled or disabled. 
When you disable it, all the nodes uh, that pertain to the pass to are bypassed. And so if you click on enable, as you can see, same kind of concept, control nets, and then the upscaler that you may change, the chain to uh, enhance the image further, the filters, the color match, and so on and so forth. And that's basically it. It's very uh, straightforward workflow. And at the bottom here, this is where your image will be saved. This is a cool note that will tell you that it's going to be saved in a folder with the date of today. And within that folder with the date, you will have another uh, folder called upscale images or vice versa. Sometimes it's uh, it's reversed, but anyways, you will uh, I will show you uh, where it's uh, where it's at on my PC. Let's just do one together. So I'm going to load an image. And the image I'm going to load is a pretty old school uh, Midjourney uh, V3 image, which I'm going to load right now, as you can see, and it's low res. And uh, the details are not that great. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty even hard to really make anything out of this one. So the next thing I'm going to do is the prompt. So I'm going to move over to the right. I'm only going to change the first line here. I already kind of like uh, wrote this further somewhere else. So I'm going to just paste here. And I typically like to make the two uh, fields here the same because it's an SDXL, uh, um, you know, like, uh, a prompt loader, so it's a little bit. Uh, you have like a, I forgot what it's called. Let me see if I can just show you what, uh, what this is named. I think, oops, yeah, here we go. I'll show you right now. You have the text G and the text L. And so, in the it, what I read online, is if you just use the same prompt for these two fields and no negative prompts, you, you, you get the best results. Feel free to experiment, that's what I've been doing. I know that Brad does a little bit different. Brad is using this one as a styler and this one as a descriptor, like he's descripting the image and here he's descripting the style that he wants. So it's totally up to you guys to, to experiment. So I want to run this image with a freedom of one, of five, sorry, the default. And also another cool thing I forgot to show you, it shows you like the values that this, uh, this workflow is calculating and also the resolution that is uh, going to be an SDXL resolution is being shown to you here. So once I'm ready to go, I'm just going to click on Q. And now we wait. One more cool thing I'm going to tell you uh, while uh, I'm here is you can actually so show like what's going on right now in Comfy while it's generating by going to Manager and making sure that the preview method is set to th this one here, this option. And now you see it shows me like uh, what's uh, what's happening. One more thing I would like to talk about uh, during this uh, about this workflow that's pretty awesome is it's using basically um, a tiling function. It's all described here. I will show you. I would like to actually uh, thank uh, someone special here that made it possible. And his name is TT Planet, and you should be able to find him on uh, on Civitai. And he basically trained a tile, a tile uh, control net, which uh, is basically for sure making this like uh, working here. And in addition, the combination of the tile control net plus the ultimate SD upscale is uh, making this workflow uh, what it is right now. And also um, one more qu quick uh, trick I was gonna give you, if you're testing things to make things faster, you can set the sim fix mode to uh, none during the testing. And when you're ready to do the final image, you, ch you want to change this back to a half tile and it's going to, you won't see the seams. So that's another little trick. Let's continue to wait for this to generate. All right. First one is done. One cool thing about this workflow here is we have used a node that lets you sh see the before and after all within the same image, which is really cool. So this is the before right there, and this is the after after the first pass. So as you can see, not only is the image twice as big, but it imagine new details and and created like a, this new image based on the first one, but just like more clean. And that is without the enhancers. And then if I move over to the right, I can see here color match and sharpening and all that good stuff that has been done for this image here. So now let's just see how the second pass is going to look like, which is going to be a 4x. So let's just wait for this one to be done and I will show you the result. All right, so pass two is done. Let's see what it looks like. So this is the input image 
and that is the output. And again, that's uh, 1x and that is 4x, so a lot of, uh, of much, uh, much higher quality. And currently what is going on is it's going through like the image enhancer, like with the tools uh, to sharpen filters, grain and so on. So let's uh, wait for that to be done. Okay, so here is the second the, the image enhance with the grain. I mean, it's barely visible, I might, we might be okay. I think we'll leave this one alone because the grain is very subtle. So but just be careful, little trick here, when you uh, disable, and re-enable, it's going to uh, re-enable all the, the nodes. So if you, let's say, didn't want to have any grain, and this was off here, when I see when I uh, enable, it just turns this one back on. So just something to keep in mind. Be careful with this one. Another cool thing about this workflow is if I move on further right, it shows you the difference between the pass one and pass two. So that is pass one, that is pass two. As you can see, it's a little more sharp and a little more details. Not too much, but uh, yeah, you see here, it's that much, a little bit better. And finally, the last thing you can see is the pass one with enhancements versus pass two with enhancements. So that is pass one with enhancements, and that is pass two with enhancements. And finally, you can see here the the image being saved after pass one and the image being saved after pass two. So if we go in the folder let's just see the the images i'm actually going to open the input so you can see like uh, all these images next to each other and i will show you the different resolutions so oh sorry wrong place right there beautify i am going to copy this example and put it here just to show you all so we started with an image that was at uh, you know, well, 124 to 1280, look like that. This is pretty, uh, not that great, right? Like pretty uh, not sharp and the details are really confusing. I mean, it's not, it's old school, old school mid-journey mid for you. And then we look at the second image here, the f uh, f a result from the first pass. And we are now at uh, 1792, tw uh, 2240. So if I open it, just definitely sharper, more details. And finally, the very last result, the uh, outgoing image, we are at 3584 to by uh, 4480. And this one is, is very detailed. It's uh, it's freaking, fre freaking awesome. I love this, uh, this workflow and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see uh, what you guys uh, make with it. So if you wanna tag us, so we put like uh, our credentials of Instagram here Major Man and SuperBeasts.ai. You can find us on uh, YouTube, X, Reddit, all over the place. Yeah, we, you know, we have uh, all the links on our, our bios here on Instagram. But uh, yeah, definitely let, let us know and tag us on whatever you create with this workflow. We'd love uh, to see what you guys make. I hope you love it because we do. Peace.